Hello everyone, today I'm bringing you a settings video, this is going to go through my advanced look controls and my regular settings that I have while playing Apex Legends. I just want to say before we get started, if you are interested in Apex Legends gameplay and Apex Legends content, any other sort, make sure you subscribe down below because I will be bringing out a shit ton of content that you will absolutely love, I'm telling you right now. But anyway, without wasting any more of your time, here are my advanced settings for Apex Legends. So we're going to be going through each category, the most important one being the controller because as you can see I have advanced look controls enabled. Um, and that was only recently that I did that um, and it has improved my game. So your interact prompt style, you're going to have that to compact. Button hints, you're going to have off. The, you want the crosshair and the shield icon okay because you can have different options just the crosshair or you can have both of them off but having the shield icon is, is very useful especially when since we're getting on to the next one if you have no damage numbers on uh, i like to play with no damage numbers on um, only on pubs purely because i don't worry too much about how much damage i'm doing to them i just shoot them until they die damage numbers are probably more useful than ranked because you know how much damage you're doing to someone and that's when you should focus on how much damage you're doing to someone because it's going to be a little bit more important but yeah pubs if you want to play better if you want to take your mind off a couple of things that you don't really need to focus on turn damage numbers off you will see a little bit of a difference ping opacity you want that faded because you know when someone spam pings or when someone pings a location sometimes you you, you do realistically want to be able to see through it rather than just have it a, a solid color on your screen obituaries keep them on Minimap rotation off, um, the weapon auto cycle on empty off, auto sprint off, um, double tap sprint off, incoming damage feedback 3D. So taking damage closes death box menu. You want this off um, because it allows you to loot up pretty easily. So if someone's shooting at you from really far away and you know that they're not going to kill you, um, you can loot up while, while taking some some damage. You know it's it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, I like to keep that off because I am a loot goblin and I like looting. So some of these settings in gameplay aren't crucial. Uh, some of them are, in my opinion, such as the damage numbers and the uh, crosshair damage feedback. Onto the most important bit of the video. This is in the controller section and we're going to start off with button layout. So your button layout is would be set to default. Change that to button puncher or to be honest, change it to whatever you feel is best for you. I just prefer button puncher because of the way I play. I play claw, which looks like this. where you have your middle finger pressing RT and RB and your index finger pressing all the buttons. So this allows you to never have to take your thumb off the right stick, which is a big advantage. It also allows you to loot faster because you never have to stop to turn. Do you know what I mean? You can you can turn while you're sprinting and you can and you can press X to loot while you're uh, while you're sprinting and moving as well. So next we got the stick layout. You can just keep that at default, whatever you prefer. You can play Legacy Southpaw, um, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you like, but I play on default. Interact slash reload button. Uh, you want to keep that at tap to use and reload. You have other options like tap to use, hold to reload, or hold to use, tap to reload. You want to keep them like tap to use both because that's just holding X, it just takes more time. So the crouch button, you want to have this to toggle. You don't really want to have on hold purely because sliding is a big mechanic in this game. So when you are sliding down a hill and you're trying to shoot at someone while ADSing, if you have that right stick held in while you're trying to do that, you're not going to be able to have the best precise aim. However, if you have it on toggle you can just press it once and you'll continuously slide and you can just worry about aiming and shooting at your target so the aim button you want to have this on hold you know i mean unless you're playing like pubg or something then you can have it on toggle i guess but hold is the way to go trigger dead zones previously this is set to default for you get that down to none um what this allows you to do is the shallower you press your shoot button or your aiming button it will do it quicker so you have to press your your lt or rt in less for it to do the action that you want it to do so if you have it on max you're going to have to press your right trigger all the way down for it to do the action you want it to do and if you have it on none you're not going to have to do that and it allows you to react quicker and shoot quicker so the menu cursor speed i'm pretty sure it's set to this at the beginning like it's super slow right like you this is up to you but having it on a higher setting is uh, is always best i know people who play it the, the, like on max but that's just a bit too much for me i like to have it just just above the middle so here we go we got the advanced look controls so before we, we move on to them, my look sensitivity uh, is 3, and then I have 4 ADS, right? So my yes, my ADS is higher than my look sensitivity, and yes, my sensitivity is really that low. Uh, per optic setting, we'll get into that. The response curve, you want that on classic, and the look dead zone, you want that on none. I'm pretty sure that is set to the middle one uh, at the start, but yeah, have that on none, it will give you more precise aiming and it will allow you to make finer adjustments to your shot. Vibration, some people like to keep it off, but I like to keep it on purely because like if I'm getting shot and I don't see and I don't notice that I'm getting shot on screen, 
um, my, my, con my controller is like a, like a safety for that. So if I don't see it on screen, I'm definitely going to feel it in the controller. So this is what you probably clicked on this video for. So I only have a couple of advanced look controls that I use. And these are these ones up here. I don't really use any of these down here. So these, you can keep them all at default, right? So from, from the your speed down to the ADS turning ramp up delay, you can keep that at default you don't need to you don't need to change that so these are my settings let's start off with the dead zone the dead zone usually starts it around here put that all the way down it basically just allows you to make finer adjustments if you don't want to make finer adjustments then put it up a little bit okay whatever suits you you, you change the setting for okay because like the, these are my personal settings this is what i enjoy playing on and this is this works best for me these might not necessarily work best for you but you can tweak them to make them work well for you okay so the outer threshold i to be honest i don't even know what this does but i put it all the way down and it and it felt just a little bit different but i like that i like the way the way it feels so the response curve uh i actually turn this up a little bit so from here it is one two three so i put it three to the right of it Target compensation, you you don't even want to change that, just keep it on. Now, these settings down here, I didn't do anything to them. Don't worry about these. Unless you want to, you can go in a firing range and play them play them with yourselves. But I didn't I didn't think I needed to, and all of these felt fine for me, so I didn't change any of that. Now the per optic settings. Again, there are only a couple that I changed, right? Because I never really use a 10 times. I never really use these and I feel like one is just enough for these, right? Because these are long range scopes. You don't need to be super fast. You can be more precise with these. The only ones I did change was the one times and the two times, which are my most used scopes, right? So the two times is on 1.6 because it just works well for me. And the one times slash iron sights is on 1.3, just a little bit faster than it was before. But again, it does make a little bit of a difference. So yeah, that was the advanced look controls. Not many there, you'll be surprised. There are there aren't many that I do use um, because the, the game feels fine for me. And especially because you're on a controller you don't really need to make these adjustments right it doesn't really make too much of a difference but again you can go through them yourself and you can change what feels right for you so moving on to the video uh your field of view you're gonna want that at 110 okay some people still play on 70 don't do that play on 110 sprint view shake again that was set to normal at the start set that to minimal so it basically looks like you're floating across the floor instead of actually running right then your audio settings i just turn the music volume all the way down and the lobby music volume all the way down because it gets a little bit annoying. So that has been it for the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.